Hello guys and welcome to Football Fan Den UK. How's it going? So today I'm here to bring you a video with regards to the Liverpool and Everton game. Uh, sorry it's a little bit late guys. Unfortunately I couldn't get it done over the weekend uh, through uh, being quite busy uh, with work and other stuff. Uh, but I'm here to do a quick response to it now because I think it needs to uh, be discussed. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick video to give you, you guys my viewpoints on it and obviously try to talk to it talk about it from a fan point of view um so first guys before i get into that um a bit of fan then news for you uh, as i mentioned in the previous video i am now working on a, a competition idea for fans to get involved in on instagram uh, but also alongside that is something brand new that is also to run uh, as part of it and um, that i've been working on al alongside it uh, which is the new Football Fan Den UK Fan Zone. Uh, the purpose of the Fan Zone, guys, is to start to uh, try to get the fans that are genuinely interested in Football Fan Den UK uh, together and obviously so you guys can um, meet other fans that like to talk football in a positive atmosphere. Uh, for those of you that have obviously spoke to me quite a bit on the social media, you will know that on Instagram I have tried groups uh, before, uh, experimented with them and uh, I've learnt quite a lot from it guys. Um, I'm, I'm trying to make it work so that it runs alongside the channel so that you guys can basically uh, meet other good fans and get involved in what's going on with Football Fan Den uh, as it develops and as I obviously push to grow the channel. And so the purpose of the fan zone is basically to give you guys the opportunity to, like I say, meet other fans, but also feel a part of fan then. Now, what made me think of this over the summer was obviously the coronavirus and what's going on and the fact that fans are now basically being uh, disconnected from their clubs uh, and obviously not allowed to go and support their clubs. And there is no sign of this letting up, guys. Uh, I'm not going to get into a rant about what's right or wrong about it because obviously my feelings are, about it are quite strong. Uh, and also a little bit political, so I'm not even going to go down that road because I want to keep the channel as positive as possible. Um, but fair to say that uh, this lockdown nonsense and not letting fans in the ground is basically an absolute disgrace, considering uh, people are still being allowed to go to restaurants and cinemas. Um, so that, that that's basically a little bit of an insight into my thinking of it, guys. But like I said, I'm not going to get on a rant about that because obviously I want to keep the channel positive. So, guys... If you are a fan of Fanden and you are interested in meeting more fans and being more involved or feeling at least part of what Fanden is and what I'm trying to do, uh, then you can get in touch with me on Instagram if you are on Instagram and you can obviously speak to me and or we'll see if we can get you in the fan zone. Uh, the, the fan zone is managed correctly. I, I will manage it, which means that basically I will do everything in my power to keep the fan zone positive. So basically any fans that do join, um, that do not have the desire to keep conversation positive and friendly will be removed. Uh, that is simply to keep the fan zone positive. Uh, I have no desire whatsoever, guys, to remove anybody that I have had to the fan zone, uh, but I will remove people that obviously do not keep uh, conversation positive for the best interest of everybody involved, basically. It's not to be snobby, it's not to segregate anybody, it's just simply, guys, to run it professionally so that we keep it positive, friendly, for, the, for you guys that want to enjoy meeting other fans and obviously being a part of what I'm trying to do. Uh, so yeah, guys, so if you are interested and you want to obviously get involved in that, you can drop me a message on Instagram and I will certainly have a conversation with you and see if we can get you in the fun zone. Uh, so on to the game, guys. Um, today I want to talk about Everton, Liverpool and this uh, Pickford challenge. Now, obviously, I've seen a lot of uh, discussion about it on uh, social media, other YouTubers and obviously the mainstream media. And for me, guys, it's an absolute disgrace. The question has to be asked in that game, did Everton basically get themselves so hyped up that their professionalism uh, basically didn't kick in enough to, uh, to, to, you know, to show Liverpool 
the respect that they should as professional footballers. Now, for you guys that are Everton fans thinking that I'm just having a pop at your club, I am not because I'm going to explain if you allow me. Everton are at the top of the league, which is absolutely fantastic. The reason it's fantastic is because it's nice to see a club up there that is not normally up there. I am right behind that. So if Everton managed to stay up there, I am well happy about that. Got no problem with that. But obviously this was a derby game and I watched part of the game. And from where I was sitting, guys, it looked to me like some of the Everton players were so hyped up that they, you know, they allowed their professionalism as professional players um, to, to be uh, overlooked a little bit. I'm not saying they did it intentionally, but some of the tackles in that game, guys, I, I get that Everton wanted to get something out of that game. I get that Everton wanted to make a statement and I get that Everton wanted to get right in Liverpool's face. I have no problem with any of that and I have no problem with players putting in proper challenges I'm all for that because there's nothing worse than soft tackles and players rolling over up for nothing. I will be the first to speak up uh, for players that do that. And we all know the kind of players that do do that, uh, i.e. Neymar and other players that like to go down very easily and make a, a meal of a, a slightest contact. But... With regards to the Pickford Van Dyke uh, situation, if you watch that back, guys, it is clearly obvious that Pickford was not going to get that ball and he has gone crashing into Van Dyke with recklessness. And how he has not got a red card for that challenge is beyond me. Because this is the way I'm looking at it, guys. If that was reversed, if a player had done that to the goalkeeper, I would suspect very strongly that the player would have been sent off. Because one thing we know as football fans, guys, is the goalkeepers, you tend to get quite a bit of protection when it comes to players jumping in at them when they're trying to get the ball, gather the ball. Now, obviously, we've had this discussion in years gone by about a goalkeeper gathering the ball and a player uh, crunching in with a tackle. And I have seen in years ago, I've not seen it as much recently, but I know in years gone by, I have seen games where re referees have sent off a player for basically tackling into a goalkeeper when he's trying to catch the ball. Um, I'm not sure exactly what terminology they use uh, to basically uh, send the player off, but normally it's something along the lines of, uh, you know, a reckless tackle or uh, something along that, that description. But like I say, guys, for me, I, I think Pickford should have definitely be sent off. Um, and the fact, uh, like I say, of the way uh, Pickford just, you know, crunched into him and didn't seem to realise what he'd done to, to Van Dyke straight away. It was it was bizarre. It was, uh, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he intentionally injured him. Don't, that You know, some of you guys might be thinking that's what I'm getting at. I am not saying he intentionally injured him. But what I am saying is I think that the Everton players were intent on on letting Liverpool know that they were there to play and they were there to be physical. And I have got no problem whatsoever with players being physical because that is what the game's about. And I think that some of the stuff we're seeing in today's game is showing that it's getting a bit soft with some of the tackles and that some players, you know, don't like the physical side. Well, me as a football fan, I love the physical side, but there has to be a boundary, guys. There has to be a boundary. And this is where the professionalism comes in of players, especially in the Premier League. If we'd seen this in the lower leagues, we'd all be flipping, you know, saying, oh, well, it's typical of lower league football. So when we see this in a Premier League game, the question has to be asked about professionalism. It has to. I know some of the Everton fans are not going to like me saying this, but the players on the Everton team, to me, looked so hyped up that they basically forgot uh, or or decided to overlook the fact that they are professional players. So you can crunch in with tackles. You can let your, the, the opposition know that you're there to match them. You can let the opposition know that you want to, you know, give them a game. But there has to be a line of you don't cross of where you do not, you know, do tackles like that. You know, if you look at the way Pickford runs in on Van Dyke, his legs are everywhere, his arms are everywhere, the ball's gone past him. You know, he's not even looking properly at the ball. It's it's bizarre how he was allowed to stay on the field. 
Now, obviously, I've got no problem with, uh, you know, uh, players, obviously, uh, making mistakes. Uh, but I have got a problem with referees making a mistake. How the referee has allowed Pickford to stay on the pitch with that tackle is beyond me. It's absolutely shocking that he was allowed to play on the stay on the field. Now, the reason I am giving Pickford a fair bit of criticism is because, one, it's well-deserved, but two... He's an international player, which means he's played for the international team. He's got experience of playing in a World Cup. He's got experience of travelling for, for his country and playing against uh, foreign players, players of other nationalities, uh, and playing in different circumstances, i.e. weather conditions and stadiums, etc. So surely a player like Jordan Pickford should know to have a bit more professionalism about him. It's bizarre. I do not want to imply that Pickford done that on purpose, that he deliberately injured. I do not want to imply that because I'd like to think that that, it, that he had no intention to in, injure Van Dijk properly. I, I would really like to think that, especially, obviously, in being an England player. But like I say, guys, you know, it was like a schoolboy tackle the way he went diving in. The ball gone past him and his arms, legs everywhere, and it was it was obvious to me that he was basically making that tackle to make you know uh, Van Dyke know that he was in a game and it went wrong and it's Van Dyke that is now injured for a long period of time which obviously is going to have an impact on Liverpool because he is a very key player which is why I think that Pickford made the crunching tackle because he knows that Van Dyke is a key player to Liverpool. Now, you guys can obviously disagree, agree, you're entitled to your opinion. I'd love to know what you uh, think. Leave your comments in the in the comments below. But for me, guys, I'm sorry, but I think that, you know, at least with the Pickford situation, it, it, there is definitely an element of unprofessionalism there. Um, I know that Everton fans are completely going to disagree with me, but all I will say to that is if you want to disagree with me and argue, if the shoe was on the other foot, you would probably be saying what I'm saying or thinking along them lines. If that had been Van Dyke crunching in on Pickford, you would be the first to complain, saying that he should be sent off. So it's only right that we have a look at it the other way and say that it's the same, you know, both ways, basically. So, guys, that's about it from me. If you're new to the channel, it would be very much appreciated if you could subscribe and uh, obviously show your support so that obviously we can get fan then moving in the right direction for the future of football and obviously the situation we find ourselves with the coronavirus obviously uh, channels like football fan then and other youtube channels may be obviously very important for fans in the future uh, with the circumstances we find ourselves in because obviously we are seeing that there is a lot of disregard coming from the football community particularly uh, the football authorities and obviously the government uh, instigating that and, and my my problem with that guys is the lack of the uh, football authorities i.e uh, epl and the efl uh, not challenging uh, the government uh, with regards to at least like allowing a small percentage of fans in grounds so that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for, for joining me. Hopefully you will join me on future videos and hopefully you guys stay all well and safe out there. Take care for now and goodbye.